Hey guys, so Sony is seeding a new update to their XZ Premium which patches the Meltdown and Spectre vulnerabilities. Now these exploits allows a malicious program to steal data that is being processed on your phone or computer. And yes, computers are also included, many Intel and AMD processors are also affected by this exploit. Now one side effect is that after patching the Meltdown and Spectre vulnerabilities, there will be a drop in the performance. Now this might not show up in daily use but it should show up in a benchmark app. So this is why I have downloaded two benchmark apps, Antutu Benchmark and Geekbench 4. So for Antutu we get a score of about 202130 and for Geekbench we got a single core score of 1912 and multi core score of 6525. And I've written it down on a paper so that we can compare before and after. Anyways let's go ahead and install the update. And by the way, build number is 47.1.8.12.75 and it's about 120 MB. Okay, so here we are after the patch and this one should also update the security patch levels. So if you go to system and if you go to about phone, you can see Android security patch level is now 1st Feb 2018. So I'm going to give this phone a couple of minutes to settle down and then we'll run the benchmark apps and see if there's any difference. Alright, so I finished running Geekbench twice uh, just to make sure that wasn't any error. So actually the scores have increased. So before we were getting 1912 for single core and now we're getting 1925 and 6525 for multi core and now we're getting 6547. So slight increase, maybe that's a margin of error because I ran the benchmark only once uh, before. So this is the first time I ran the benchmark and this is the second time I ran the benchmark after the update, after the security patch. And this was before the meltdown and spectre. Uh, patch so this is slightly less maybe I should have ran this thing twice uh, just to make sure there wasn't any margin of error but the scores are largely unchanged I consider the difference a margin of error so yeah we don't lose any CPU performance at least that is what I can tell from looking at these scores from Geekbench so now let's go ahead and run the N22 benchmark and see what we get Okay, so here we are and actually the scores are now much better. So 203716 versus 202130. So yep, the performance has become a little bit better and I actually ran N22 twice before uh, noting this number down and this was the highest I could get out of these two tests. And I also ran N22 twice just now and this is the highest number I've got. So at the end of the day for Geekbench single core we have an additional score of 13 and for multi core 22 but here for N22 we have a difference of about 1586. So this is after the meltdown patch and this is before the meltdown patch. Anyways guys thanks for watching this video do leave your suggestion and comments in the video description and I will see you guys next time.